Hey guys, Morrisbone17 here, back again with a brand new video and today I have a very cool video for you as I'm going to be doing a £2 football versus a £20 football. I've seen a lot of YouTubers do £100 footballs versus £20 footballs but I thought it would be really cool to go really cheap and do a £2 versus a £20. So that's what I'm going to be doing today and testing them out and then telling you guys whether I think it's worth paying the extra money for this football or just going really cheap. So let's get straight into it. So obviously you want a decent amount of bounce in a football. So we're going to be testing out which ball is bounciest. So let's get straight into it. So after the first bounce test, the expensive ball is bouncier. But now I'm going to drop it through a bit higher and see if there's any difference. So after the first test, the bounce test, the more expensive ball is bouncier. So one to the bouncy ball. <laughs> So one for the expensive ball and zero for the cheap ball. Let's get into the next challenge. But just before we get into the next test, remember my merchandise is out right now. So go and check that out, top link in the description. But yeah, let's go into the next test. So now we're going to be doing some freestyle and skills with each football. First up is the cheaper football. So let's go and do some freestyle and skills. skills with this ball and then we'll see what the other ball is like but yeah let's do some more skills Let's go! So now I've done some freestyle with the expensive ball, let's do a cheeky crossbar challenge. So after doing freestyle with both balls, I actually have to say the cheap football is actually quite good for its price, obviously. Obviously the more expensive football is more cushioned and I quite like that in a freestyle ball. But for two pounds you can't go wrong, so I'm gonna say that's a draw for that one. But now we're going to be doing some free kicks. Cheaper ball is up first, so let's go. I've got to say guys, the first kick that absolutely Dad just told me it actually really hurt his hand saving it because the ball's so hard. Let's see if there's a change and do some more. Also, the more expensive ball is winning 2-1 now, so this ball really needs to up its game. But let's see. I have to say, this is probably the worst ball I have played with for taking free kicks. It's okay for the other stuff, but this free kicks. This is awful. I think this is going to have to be the last free kick with this football. Otherwise, I think my foot is going to fall off. That's how painful it is. 
to my experience with the cheaper football that absolutely killed my foot and I will not be using that again for free kicks it was just horrible and this is my dad's experience of it as a goalkeeper it just really hurts your hand it's so hard um, yeah I didn't enjoy being a goalkeeper it's a nightmare basically for free kicks you know if you're going to use it for a bit of freestyle and occasional just a bit of a kick about just just don't use it for booting you know free kicks it's good yeah just don't so now thank god dad we are going to be using the expensive football the 20 pound football i pray that this will be better and i'm sure it will as it's a lot more cushion but yeah let's go and check this out Come let's on. Go, dad. Let's go. Dad already says that's better for keeping uh, and in my opinion it's a million times better. My dad just said, and I agree with him, I'm taking such better shots, and I think you can agree with me after that last free kick. So after the free kicks, it's safe to say that the cheap football absolutely lost that one. That took an absolute L. But on the other hand, the more expensive football was a lot better, and I definitely recommend that for free kicks. But on the other hand, that does not apply for the cheap football. So the expensive football won that one, so it's 3-1 to the expensive football. Now we're going to be doing a crossbar challenge. First of all, we're going to be using the cheaper ball, but my dad is just going to explain the rules and how it works. So we're both going to take five shots for each ball. Uh, we're going to add up the score at the end and then discuss which one we enjoyed using the most. Yeah. Absolute torture using that ball. Now my second shot. Straight on. And that's with the cheap ball. Shot number three. Oh. That last shot was awful and it absolutely killed my foot. Let's see if I can do any better on shot number four. It's really, really hard to get height on the football because it's so hard and I guess it's quite heavy. Final shot, shot number five, let's do it. So overall, out of my five shots, I got one. I'm not really surprised using that ball, to be honest, but now my dad's going to take his five shots and let's see how he does. Okay, so I haven't really had a go with the cheap ball yet, so this is my first shot across my challenge. Let's do it. really close. Uh, I'm not finding this ball too bad on this actually. I'm very close to that one. Let's go do my third shot. Okay, fourth shot. I don't want Forrest to beat me. Okay, last shot, but I have to say the ball, now I've had four shots, it is starting to hurt, so I feel a bit more sympathy for Forrest. crossbars. So overall out of me and dad's 10 shots we only got one which I got. Let's do the expensive football and see if we can do any better. I'm up first so let's go. Even though I haven't hit one yet this ball feels a lot better for striking it with. Number four. Shot, shot number five and although the ball feels a lot better I actually haven't hit one so hopefully this is the one
get it get in there so guys just like my last one i've got five out of so, <laughs> so guys just like my last one i got one out of five but i actually found the expensive ball a lot better even though my score didn't improve now dad's turn let's see okay. if we can get more than zero <laughs> more than zero okay first shot of the expensive ball Yeah, I'm used to kicking the hard ball, so I kicked it far too hard and far too high, so I need to bring it down a bit. Oh, oh that's better, yeah. I'm definitely a more expensive ball kind of guy. Shot four. Oh. Yeah, I like this one. Oh. Too high. So on the crossbar challenge, the cheap ball only got one out of ten, but on the more expensive football, we got three out of ten, which is obviously quite a bit better. And I'd much prefer playing with the expensive football than the cheap football. Overall, the expensive football won four one to the cheap one, and I would definitely spend a bit extra money getting the more expensive ball than just buying the cheap ball. Wouldn't you agree? Definitely. Yeah, yeah it's, it's just a lot softer and I just enjoy playing with it a lot more. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Tell me in the comments what you think of it. But remember to like, comment and subscribe and we'll see you guys next time. Done. Done it. <laughs>